Hi, Heather here with Pinwheel in the Wind, and today I'm going to be sharing with you our toddler learning basket for the month of March. I'm super excited to be sharing this basket because this one is full of things that she really loves that are right on par for her developmentally right now, and um, they're all things that we just really enjoy doing together. So I hope you like it. So the first thing is the Who Am I card game set from the world of Eric Carle. So you open it up and inside are all of these pictures of, most of them are famous characters that are um, in his different books. But on the back are the Who Am I questions. So they're questions. I have short, soft fur and a long tail and I love cheese. Who am I? And the answer is a mouse. And so I like this because it gets her to start critically thinking um, and thinking about the different animals, not just like, oh, I see this picture and I know it's a bee, but what does a bee do? It goes buzz, things like that. And so we've been having a lot of fun like this, and it is actually pretty challenging for her right now. So next we have our alphabet book for this month. Almost always we will have one alphabet book in our learning basket just to talk about and go through each month, and we make it a different one every month. This one is the A is for Apple by Tiger Tails. And this one goes into a little bit more of the like, how do you actually form the letters? And it gives you something that it's for, and then it gives you another thing that it's for. So B is for ball and B. Next is this VeggieTales book, God Made You Special. So this book is super cute because inside it goes through all of the things that God thought about when making you, about your hair and your eyelashes and all these different things um, and about how it's all super special. And then at the very end, there's a mirror and it says, look at yourself, look at the beautiful thing that God made. So we've been using this to start some conversation about how God made her and he thought about her and um, my sister is pregnant. And so we've been talking about babies inside of bellies and how God is putting them together. So this book has been a huge hit, plus it's super cute. We also have the eBoot Life on Earth Dominoes. So this we are using for our game, and um, it says it's supposed to develop picture recognition and counting skills and things like that. Really, for us, all it is doing is um, helping her learn how to play games, helping her learn to wait her turn and get excited and think about how exactly to play the game and follow the rules. So I like that. So it's dominoes with these beautiful pictures. Um, and obviously most of you probably know how to play dominoes. So it's just dominoes with pictures, but she loves this game. She asked to play it almost every single day. Um, before it's time to that we do her learning basket. So this is a huge hit. She loves it. And I love that she's learning how to play games and follow instructions. So we keep in our two staple flashcards, our ABC cards. And if this is your first video with me, um, I'm not necessarily teaching her A, B, and C. We talk about that when we do her um, alphabet book. But with these cards, we talk about the sounds. So we say A, ah, B, I also love to put my flashcards on a ring like that because it makes it super easy to just flip through and go to the next one. And then this one is colors, numbers, and shapes. We also have in here a puzzle for numbers and quantity. Um, she knows how to count really well. She can count all of the animals that are on this side of the puzzle, but she's really struggling with number recognition. So we are using this to work on number recognitions and she's already got counting down so well. So next is um, what your preschooler needs to know. I have read so many mixed reviews on this book and I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it and I finally did and I'm so happy that I did because this is kind of become our read aloud um, selection. I don't have to think about what would be a good read aloud for this month or, you know, what questions should I come up with for this story? That has all of this already in here. And so um, this has poems for poetry. It has songs. And then 
stories. So this is what we are using for her read alouds right now. And what I love about this is not only is it a longer story that she has to sit down and listen through, but it comes on the side with questions to ask your toddler, your preschooler. And that kind of takes the guesswork out for me of trying to create questions on the spot of like, oh, what do you think of the hen doing that? Like I can just look right here and here is an age appropriate question checking comprehension already ready for me. It also has in some simple history stories. We haven't started this yet, but we are looking forward to it. And even some science. This we have had in ever since Thanksgiving. It's just a little chalkboard that says I am thankful for. Um, it's a pumpkin because it's from Thanksgiving, but we started working on um, gratitude in November and we loved it so much and it's something I really want my children to grow up um, knowing and having is gratitude and thankfulness and so every day we list some things that we are thankful for. We have the dot to dot for tiny tots. This is a pen control book which she is getting better and better at. It says the recommended age is three and up. However, um, my daughter started pen control right at two. Um, she wasn't good at all, at all. But now she just turned three, like three weeks ago, and she can do most of these activities pretty easily and pretty well. This one, Draw and Learn Faces. We love this book. Um, just developmentally, she went from writing random scribbles to actually drawing faces when she would color. And um, so we really love this book. It talks about how to draw faces, but um, it makes your child think about, you know, what are the parts of a face? There's the eyes and the nose. And I've had fun watching her learn how to draw these different things and draw um, different expressions. And so here she drew the snowman. It said to write the mouth and she drew the surprise snowman. So it's been fun to see that. And we have been using that with these little felt faces that came from the Target dollar spot. They have all these different feeling expressions. And so sometimes we'll pull this out and we'll say, look, he's worried. Can you make the tomato in this book worried? And so we've really enjoyed this book. So next, this is a favorite, favorite of mine. Uh, my toddler likes it, but not as much as I do. <laughs> but she does enjoy it too. This is the Osborne Picture Puzzle Book. There are many, many different versions of this. Um, some you can get on Amazon, but this is the Picture Puzzle Book. It comes with all of these different layouts, and in each and every layout, some of the different animals in it are asking questions. And so on this one, the bird, the parrot says, squawk, can you spy a pirate parrot? And so your child will look through and try and find the pirate parrot right there. Another thing that I love about this is some of them like this, um, one of the penguins asks, who has the longest scarf? And so we've been working on those words like longest and scarf, and some of them ask about tails and different things like that. Um, and so they're spotting little tiny differences. They can be quite difficult at times, but she really loves it. I really love it. And so this is definitely a win. And the last thing in our basket is the Just As I Am. This kind of goes along with the um, God Made You Special. We've been talking and even the Draw and Learn Faces because part of it is draw your own face and things like that. We've been talking a lot about her, who she is, um, her face, how God made her. And so this one, Just As I Am, is a very cute, colorful book um, about this elephant who has a hard time because of her trunk. She has a, I think it's a boy actually. He has a, yeah, he has a, a hard time because of his trunk. Um, he keeps tripping his friends when they're trying to play tag and then um, he can't hide behind the bushes and hide and seek because his trunk is too long. And so near the end of the book, the elephant is crying because his, he doesn't like his trunk. He doesn't like um, that God made him with a trunk. And, um, well, it doesn't specify God in here, but anyways. 
So the mommy comes along and tells her, well, let me show you something really special you can do with your trunk. And they go to the waterfall and then there's a big, it's not working, big pop-up of him squirting his friends with the trunk of water. And so we love this book because he's learning that maybe his trunk gets in the way sometimes, but it has a really special meaning and a really special thing that it can do. And then all of his friends are jealous of him because of his trunk that he didn't want at the beginning of the book. So just more self-discovery, learning, um, and growing in self-confidence is very beginning stages of what we're working on through that. Thank you so much for watching. Everything will be linked down below and leave a comment down below. What are some things that you work with with your toddler about self-discovery? Are there any resources that you use or just different conversations that you have with your child about self-discovery, learning about yourself, accepting yourself and things like that. Until next time. Thanks so much. Bye.